it was actually um, macerating in my mind for a long time because I went to my 35th um, reunion of high school. They were kind of stuck in their high school lives as if those were the peak moments of their lives. So it was really kind of sad. Uh, but, I, but I didn't do anything about it at that point, happily, because I don't think I would have had the sense of how comic it was. I had become more and more interested in memory. It's the unreliability of memory that, that fascinates me so much. No, I, I, didn't, I did not keep my head down the way Tom did. In fact, I, was, uh, I already knew that I wanted a, a life in the theater. And we happened to have a wonderful theater program. And it sustained me through a, a time when otherwise I would have felt an absolute outcast. I'm drawn to characters that have that kind of passion for whatever it is. It's what makes theater. I have images. I have, um, and I think theatrically. So I'm thinking about what's happening on the stage and what's being said, and how it's being said, and all of that stuff. Deborah and uh, and Gordon, as Tom and Bettina, found depth in those characters that I didn't even know was there. I have a novel that was published called Coming To, which was specifically about a woman coming coming to, and she suddenly realizes that she wants to study law. I have a scene in, in that novel where she goes to apply for law school, and it's very similar. <laughs> that gets such a wonderful laugh. I love it. A woman told me she does it. Really? <laughs> you know, a friend of mine who's a very, very serious director and a very talented guy, um, he said he kept waiting for the rug to be pulled out from under him. Any minute now, it was going to turn dark. And he said it didn't happen. And and then he thought, oh, that's great. <laughs> and in fact, he said to me, this is a very good time for that to happen in the theater, to have a comedy that says, you know, maybe things will be all right. <laughs>